Okay, uh, so hello everybody and welcome back to FX Street. Today we're going to be taking a look at a lot of altcoins and Bitcoin as well, uh, as usual, the, uh, the Friday webinar session. Yeah, so uh, a lot of you guys were complaining about my previous mic and that the quality was shit, so I'm trying out a new mic, right? But the only drawback is that uh, this mic doesn't let me hear the, the speakers, which is really weird, so... Yep, let's take a look at Bitcoin. But before I actually dive deep into the technicals, right, I want to direct your attention to the FX Street YouTube channel. If you enjoy the content that we put out, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon. You can also follow us on Twitter at FXS Crypto. And if you like what I do, you can follow me on Twitter as well at Mangyako with a zero at the end. Let's, let's uh, start with Bitcoin from a weekly time frame. Right, uh... The levels here at 52K and 35K roughly are pretty much the same. They haven't changed a lot. And if we break uh, the, the lower limit, then I'm expecting a retest of 30K and uh, probably wick down into this sub 30K level. Right, uh, beyond this, uh, ignore the three demands on here. Uh, that's not important, right? Uh, if we get a weekly candlestick kind of close above uh, 52K here, then I'm expecting the price to pretty some sort of a lower higher low around 42k which would technically indicate the start of a bull run for me right that, that's where i'm going to accumulate right these two scenarios are pretty much the same nothing's changed since then uh but something that i've noticed uh and something that i want to something that i've been wanting to share is this particular candlestick here which did produce a market structure break so it is this weekly supply zone here is now a breaker now that the price has managed to move above that. Right, so this is something that I'll be watching. Uh, right now, the price seems to be uh, holding up above it pretty good, but you don't want to see uh, Bitcoin produce a daily candlestick close below 42,076. So basically, any candlestick close below 42K is a no go, and then I would invalidate, I, I wouldn't pay much attention to this uh, breaker setup that I have here. So breaker setup, as, as I've already uh, pointed out quite some times, uh, a bullish breaker usually contains a lower low form, and then you find a supply zone in between these two valleys here, draw a line, uh, draw the supply zone there. Once the price bre breaks above it, you long the retest of the supply zone, right? So that's what's happening here, which is price formed a low here and then formed a lower low. And you find the supply zone in between that, wait for the price to break above it. Now that the price is broken above it, uh, what you're going to do is retest uh, long at the retest of the breaker. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm long Bitcoin, right? But a daily close below 42K would invalidate this breaker, in my opinion. That's that's that's, that's all I have for uh, Bitcoin from a weekly time frame, right? Uh, from a daily time frame, however, let me just change this to breaker. Yep, and I'm gonna hide this for now. Right, from a lower time frame perspective, which is a one day time frame, as you can see here, there is pretty good amount of support that is present here, not just in the form of this uh, crossover, a bullish crossover between the 50 day and the 100 day moving average, which is the blue and the yellow line respectively. But we also have this daily demand zone here extending from roughly 40.5K to 42.3K, right? Although this level hasn't been retested, uh, I think, there is still a good chunk of support present for Bitcoin anywhere from 40K to 42, 43K. Right, so I'm not expecting the price to see any more pullbacks. There could be one after retesting 45K. We could see something like this come up and then finally price moves higher. But as for the upside, right, we have uh, the yearly open, we have 44.4K. And on top of that, we have the 200 day moving average, which is a pretty significant level for Bitcoin at 48.2k so retesting 50k although optimistic is a little far-fetched uh unless just like it's, it's far-fetched if you do not see a lot of momentum or volatility but if there is volatility or some sort of a news uh that uh props the price up then i think it is, it is really possible right from an on-chain perspective for bitcoin there's nothing changed here the daily active address is pretty much the same the volume is slowly increasing but it's still around the same levels, right? Uh, one thing that I want to point out is that the 365 day moving average has like almost reached the, the zero level here. 
but the interesting thing is this uh, the OI right uh, the price OI decreased quite a bit since 5th April but right now we're seeing it uh, rise quite a bit and as you can see here now that the price is consolidating here OI is starting to come back in right but what matters uh, or like what concerns me is this estimated leverage ratio here which is quite high for uh, bitcoin right and as you can see here the lap since 28th march i didn't cast this trend early on but since march 28 uh the leverage ratio has kind of uh bracketed between 0.23 and 0.24 and every time uh the leverage ratio from the local top that's when bitcoin price from the local top as well as you can see here local top price from the local top it dropped another time price from the local bottom here valid so if anyone would have spotted it and traded this it would have been a really good uh, easy setups uh another long term bullish outlook for bitcoin is that the the amount of outflow has almost reached 100k and this has only happened like six times in the history if you consider this one right now uh, in the history of bitcoin so this is an interesting development here as you can see here we are at the 100k mark here and this has only happened once twice thrice this is the fourth time this is the fifth time and the one that's happening here is the sixth time so the the long-term holders institutions uh, are extremely bullish on bitcoin and yeah so that pretty much sums up analysis for bitcoin everything is bullish from uh, an extremely long-term perspective from a short-term perspective i still believe the price is going to bracket between 53k and 45k 44k and that is going to open up an avenue for altcoins to start rallying quite a bit right that's when you focus a lot on altcoins capital rotation uh, from major uh, currencies like bitcoin and ethereum to altcoins is I, I believe is the right play to do so yeah, that pretty much sums up analysis for Bitcoin from a technical and an auction perspective. If you enjoyed the session, please uh, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and yeah, have a great weekend.